now since we have already discussed about what is a shell and what is a command line and what is a graphical interface so we'll be primarily working a lot on the command line on our linux based systems fine so before we can jump into starting working with the command line we need to understand what the command line shows us when you open a uh, command prompt or terminal over here so dependent upon your linux distribution you could be running a gnome terminal or simple terminal console or something you can look for that particular thing from your graphical interface in ubuntu and your ubuntu variants usually the control alt t opens this particular terminal anyways whatever is the uh, point when you will be opening a terminal you will get a particular interface so we will be using our command prompt from the graphical interface itself there is a possibility to start your command prompt by pressing control alt f1 though i'm not going to do it right now because it will close this particular graphical interface so usually pressing control alt f1 f2 f3 will give you a complete command line the graphical interface will not be displayed and you can come back to the graphical interface by pressing control alt f6 or f7 you can test it out and then you can work upon it if you are working on a virtual machine that may not work but you can try it out okay now once we have opened the command prompt this is where we can give our command but apart from giving the command you are going to see something like this on your screen this is our prompt okay and it gives us a certain kind of information so there is a breakup of this prompt and what exact information it is providing us let us discuss about that before we can use it so when you open a command prompt you might see something like this it has some text part then it has a at symbol and then it has some another part colon tilde and a dollar symbol these kind of things you are going to see now there can be variations in this but generally this is what you are going to see so what exactly is the breakup of this so the first part which you see is usually the user's login id or user's login id name so in this case the login id is osc then after the at symbol is the name of the host on which you are logged in see from the command line we can either be working on our local machine or we could be working on a remote machine so this is a very important aspect which tells us on which machine we are logged in sometimes you will be switching to different users when you are using the command line so this particular piece will give you the information in on which machine you are connected to and the first part is going to give you the information as which user you are logged in as fine because on the command line there is no other information continuously displayed so this gives you an idea who is logged in where you are logged in and then this tilde symbol is actually a shortcut representation of your home directory but this third part is the current working directory or the top level directory dependent upon how this prompt is set you might either see the complete path right from the top level or you might just see the top level directory fine dependent upon how the configuration is so generally we say this is the top level directory or complete path will be displayed and the final dollar symbol or this symbol is a indication who is logged in so in linux or unix systems we have two type of users one is a generic user and another is your root user fine uh, the root is the administrator of our systems and has all the rights over so when you log in as root fine from the command line this dollar symbol will change to a hash symbol fine so here if you see this particular example when you will be logged in as root uh, the user id changes to root and this will be the name of the host so in this example i'm just saying that i'm logged into a remote machine and the top level working directory is etc where i'm logged in and this indicates that again i am logged in as root now whatever is the design of your prompt this indicator should always be there or will always be there fine indicating generic user or root user it is very important to 
keep an eye on this because if it is a hash you have to run your commands very very carefully fine so here there are some examples the first one we have discussed second one is a generic example a user is logged on to a machine called as localhost localhost is usually a reference for your current working machine fine and then again the tilde and dollar symbol then this is what we discussed root user is logged in as a on a remote machine and uh, is current working directory is etc and this is the description for that and there is a last one where the user yogi is logged into a machine or server called as foo.net and its current working directory is where fine so and obviously yogi is a normal user over here so keep this in mind this is the breakup of your prompt which you are going to see and the information which it gives important thing is to keep an eye on whether it's a dollar symbol or whether it's a hash symbol and uh, that could be really helpful while you are working on the command line